Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Gracie 1718 curette. This is an area specific curette that is used on posterior teeth only, so your molars and premolars. And it is specifically designed to be used on the distal surfaces only. Um, this instrument is great for uh, hard to reach areas, especially those uh, behind those third uh, molars. So uh, again, this is a periodontal instrument for moderate to heavy calculus removal. Now, um, because this instrument is a curette, you can see that it has a rounded toe and it also has a rounded back. And you can see that the face tilts at about a 70 degree angle to the lower shank. Um, that is how you can tell that is the cutting edge, okay? So uh, now let's, uh, let's get to it. So with this instrument, you want to make sure that you are establishing the correct working end. And to, to do so, you will start by placing the instrument between the two premolars. You could use that as your guide. And you see that the lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth, but it creates a right angle on the distal aspect of this first premolar. So uh, that is how you know that is the correct working end. You see that the handle is outward this way. So now you also uh, know that this is the correct uh, working end. Now, it also hugs the mesial so that tip, uh, the toe does not stick out. So uh, that's another way you can know uh, if you have the correct working end. Now, if I were to place the wrong end of the instrument in here, you see that now I don't have that 90 degree angle uh, on that distal uh, aspect of that first premolar. Now it's creating a right angle on my second premolar, which is incorrect. And if you take a look, you see how the, the, the handle is now sticking out this way, and that is incorrect. Okay, so again, this is the correct working end. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it on these uh, posterior teeth. All right, so first you want to make sure that you use the toe third of the instrument. So the toe and a little bit more. The toe third has to be adapted to the tooth at all times. So you're going to start at the distal line angle and work your way down into the pocket. Okay. Distal line angle, insert at zero degrees, go in and establish a 70 to 80 degree angulation so that you can remove the calculus and rock on your fulcrum and uh, then come out again start at the distal line angle insert nice and smooth and begin to roll immediately going into that interproximal space because you need to keep that toe third fully adapted to the tooth for calculus removal insert and make sure also that you keep the lower shank as parallel as possible to the long axis of the tooth as you're going into proximally. And that is how you use the Gracie 1718 area specific curette. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more.